guys and welcome back to the channel i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today so today we are back at the channel with another episode of the let's build a ranch series so excited to continue this build i'm having so much fun um but yeah the last episode we actually focused on uh, our floor plan uh, and all the items that i forgot to add in so now we do have a staircase leading up there's an ensuite bathroom that we're gonna add here we widened the kitchen as you can see and then we also did uh some en suites to the bedrooms and we made this one accessible as well so yeah that is what we did last episode uh, we also bumped out this little area here on the back and i think it's looking really cute so the only thing that we still need to do is of course furnish the entire house uh, because the entire upstairs still needs to be done we need to do like this uh, guest bedroom um, then we have like the garage that we still need to furnish an entire basement that we need to plan out and think on what we're gonna do i want to add in like a fault a money fault and then also uh, a wine cellar so that's gonna be fun um we also still need to furnish the um barn and i was thinking on doing like a living quarters for the 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 farm hand here up on this section over here and then later on if you have like for rent you can even rent this upper part out which is gonna be really fun um, I think to have in your gameplay just rent this out to like a sim um, so we're gonna do like one or two bedrooms here um, yeah I think it's gonna be fun and if you don't have for rent you can just use it like for your ranch hand and we also need to do like a little cozy seating area here for uh, knitting and you know just for sitting I already added in the two uh, the two oh my gosh chairs Mona but we're gonna shuffle them around and make it look better and I also think that um, well no, the greenhouse is kind of finished. Maybe this area needs to be a bit better. So we have still a lot of work. And then also here, we need something. So this, this series is long, long, isn't finished for a long time. And then also the backyard. Oh my gosh, we're going in, in a slow pace. We need to amp up the episodes. <laughs> but yeah, so this episode, I do want to focus again on, um, on the main house a little bit more. Um, so I did get a few comments on the last episode um, and then uh, Teresa said you should add in an area for d a dog or a cat, which I think is uh, absolutely awesome. We do need an area for our dog or our cat. Um, so we're going to start with adding in the feeding bowls like right here in this little corner. Let's do those before I forget. Um, so we no, we don't need to go to kids. We need to go to pets. And then we need to go to the bowl category. And I always love to use these guys. Um, and usually do like two of them. Because I usually have a cat and the dog. Um, that is just how I roll. So maybe do like one, one red and one uh, white. Although, ugh, I don't like red on red. Let's do gr blue. Yeah. So we have our feeding bowls like right here. And I also would like... Like a little rug for our pet and we have like this little space here that is not used so we could do like a rug over here just incorporate it there i mean you're just gonna walk right past it so i think that's fine we could also do it here um Ooh, maybe we should do like the big rug over here, the big like you know bed here and have like a smaller one for like a cat over here so what do cats want uh, a cat wants a scratching pole of course so let's do that and then maybe like this singular bed why is it an egg though uh, <laughs> these are so weird looking let's go for what is this is it like a salad is this like a piece of salad with some cheese and a tomato on it? No, I don't like that <laughs> at all. Let's just grab this one. So we could have for the cat over here in this corner. 
we have enough space there. And then for if you have like a big dog, like a golden retriever, we can have that one here and then do like our toys because uh, we do need toys. Where are the toys though? Uh, let me look. Oh, here. There's like a big icon for toys. Let's do a toy box like right in this corner over here. And you can just buy toys for your pets, uh, which I think is fun. Um, so yeah, now we have our pet areas as well. I think that's fine. Or should we do the toy box here? We have, we have like so much space over here. Maybe we should do the scratching pool here and then the toy box like right there. Yeah, I think... I think that's better. So now we do we have incorporated our pet stuff. <laughs> so there was another comment from Erica, and she's saying um, it's coming together so good. Don't forget to paint the wall in the kitchen near the refrigerator. Refrigerator, and I would put the laundry in the basement. Uh, also love the green rug, and it goes well with the red, in my opinion. I I think as well. I I like it now that I. I'm looking at it again. I do like the red and green combination. So we're definitely going to keep it. And yes, I need to paint this wall. You're absolutely right. So are we... We're, we're probably going to incorporate this uh, wallpaper here as well. I love this wallpaper. This is such a great wallpaper. And then here we're going to continue this one because... Oh no... Should we? Yeah, maybe we should. And then grab a pole so that this wallpaper ends on this pole. And now we have this one here again. And that ties in really nice. We also need to paint this foundation. Let's grab a nice wood tone foundation. Or should we do a stone foundation? Mm, oh, a stone would look nice. I think I already did a stone but it's disappeared. But I think this stone one looks really nice. It's a little bit bigger, but it definitely feels very rustic. So we're gonna go with that. And then we're gonna paint this stair in like a stone color, which is really nice. Okay, so now that is painted. Do we have other comments? Um, only one from Lynn and she says she loves the additions to the exterior also liked all the different green textures and the red carpet doesn't bother me it gives me Christmas vibes <laughs> it does it does give Christmas vibes and the nice thing is we have this little space here so if you have a Christmas tree and it's Christmas time you can add it here this would be the perfect spot for a tree you can see it when you know have the walls up you would still see it there um, so this is actually a Christmas ready house you could decorate this really nicely so love that so those were all the comments uh, for now so let's just continue maybe the guest bedroom over here um what kind of doors were we using we were using the cottage living doors so we're gonna do the guest bedroom and then the guest seating area i love that we have a designated place for them um because i do see a, a lot more sims requesting to sleep over at my place that is something um that I see very regularly, uh, regularly, regular Mona. What kind of wallpaper are we going to use for the guest bedroom? Are we going to go with a little bit more lush? With a little bit more um, luxurious modern, maybe? <laughs> modern lux. <laughs> I do really love these wallpapers and this one. So maybe just in the white. So it's not too in your face, but we're going to make it feel like a little bit more luxurious um let me do this one up yeah a little bit of a luxurious guest bedroom uh we want to pamper our guests and make them feel like they're you know going to like a five-star hotel when they're living you know when they're staying with us i think that's really nice what kind of bed are we gonna use not i mean wouldn't fit the vibe though because we're doing like a ranch. Let's see what beds there are in the um, horse ranch expansion pack. So we have this bed and this bed. I think this bed would be more luxurious. 
maybe for like going for a white or should should we go for like a darker wallpaper mm. Mm. i don't know this this bed isn't i mean mm, this this would work this would work a little bit on the lighter spectrum for me but it would work let me see what we have in horse ranch so we definitely want to use these side tables over here and what kind of paintings do we we could do this painting i think we're already using it somewhere else but i think that's actually fine so just a simple bed we do need like a wardrobe so do we want the door maybe we should shift the door here also opens up a space for like a television for the guest area and then it opens up a lot of uh, how do you call this wall space for our wardrobe and such so we are gonna go with this wardrobe in the master bedroom we're gonna do a built-in wardrobe so i think this is the perfect space to use this one for the wrench uh, items because again this is a let's build a wrench series and we're gonna focus on the wrench items a little bit just a little bit <laughs> so and then we also need a mirror let's do the mirror over here we have so much wall space left uh, to work with let's do show all and let's see what kind of items we can still incorporate so we could do like a little area here for doing like makeup um, with like a, a nice chair that they can sit in so like imagine them sitting here they're gonna do their makeup here uh, maybe a nice little plant here on the side as well oh of course we need a rug underneath this uh, this area over here let's see what kind of rug would work let's go through the colors Ooh, i like that color um i really love i know i'm like a one trick pony sometimes but i really love this but then yes this would work Ooh, this would work even better i love i love that let's go with that and these need to be going flush against the wall I do love this color combination. I think your sim can walk here just fine. So that is really handy. Let's unfilter horse wrench. Let's go into uh, the mirror category. Let's unfilter horse wrench. And we do want like a nice mirror in here. So what kind of mirror this is? <laughs> this is the for rent one. We're not going to use any for rent items in this, pack, uh, in this build though. Because I'm saving that for our let's build a apartment series that I really want to do with you all. Uh, again, it's going to be a very, very long series. Probably going to start it up whilst we're still working on this one. Because, yeah, this is taking a lot. And I also have actually really good news. I'm getting my new computer. So no more crashes for me. I crashed three times yesterday while i was building a apartment complex for you all uh, an industrial apartment complex really excited to show you all um, that build if you are interested in seeing sneak peeks i did add sneak peeks to my twitter and my twitter handle is in the description of the video so you know check that out if you want to see what i'm working on uh, but yeah i did crash three times um so it wasn't fun and i do know that my you know my computer is just very old but i did order a new one it's getting built right now i did do a custom built computer and i will have it in two weeks so hopefully when that comes i will be able to start building more you know uh, because i i do tend to I get scared when I'm doing these Let's Build series because you never know if we're gonna crash. I like this setup, by the way. I do want like these perfume bottles to come on the back. Oh, wait, why are there, why, why did they go so low? Is there something on the other wall 
no okay that's better so yeah this is our area where we can put on maybe our jewelry and then our you know our our perfume and then we have also our glasses here do we do these come in different colors these glasses uh, ooh. let's say we have orange glasses <laughs> um i like this little seating area that's really cute and then we have a whole wall over here that i don't know what to do with so we have like our uh, mirror over here in this corner what are we gonna do here maybe some art let's let's look at some art maybe some jerry pictures could be placed here where is jerry let me you know what let me grab our jerry poster over there so we could do like you know maybe two of those um, maybe like that although it, it feels so random having them there no i'm just gonna place maybe one over there uh we need something else here let me go through the catalog and you know look real quick what we have okay so i couldn't find any really painting that i like so i decided to go with a bookcase and a floor length mirror over here and then deleting that little sad mirror that we had there and just have like a side table here and we could add in some clutter over here from um what is that kit called again um the everyday clutter kit and we could do maybe um like here these done Ooh, what was that that's i thought it was like keys this one i was looking for like some keys and then maybe grab um, the blooming rooms one and then add a nice little um, plant over here you know like something like that uh, maybe we should also do like a light although do we have something i mean we have something small maybe this one yeah like that so we have like a little side table here now we have a floor length mirror over there we do need two little lights on the nightstand so i don't i don't i don't know what kind of light do i want to use and they need to look a little bit more on the traditional side i mean these ones are actually really nice those are nice or do we have something something else that would look better um we also have like these guys but i think those are a little bit too traditional Ooh, i love these yeah let's do those and we can put those a little bit more on the angle we are gonna go for like a lighter color and then we can have like a little bit of decoration like a book right here would be lovely um let me grab a book this one over here and i love that we have more recolors of this book uh it always makes me happy um you know what let's let's go for this recolor over there and then maybe a plant or just a plant or two not much but just a few <laughs> um i mean i like i really like this one um we can just push that in the corner over there and then have like a little plant um maybe the blooming rooms hanging plant would be really nice um this one um oh maybe that one in this corner would be better yeah and then have this one come over here so like there's a little bit of touch of green in this uh bedroom oh my gosh i'm forgetting a window mona <laughs> let me delete that painting we need a window over here i was like it's so dark it's because we don't have any windows so let me see what are we using um maybe we should go for like a large industrial window like right or maybe this the small version of that industrial window let me see um let me you know what let me filter my skino or my shino this one over here we could do this window there um and then have it centered 
Yeah, okay, that's much better. And then we need curtains, of course. Let's grab uh, some curtains. Let's go with um, probably these guys. These are the best curtains to use in your game. Um, like that. Then we need to push everything forward just a little bit. Uh, and then we need that pole in the middle. Um, let's go Desert Lux. It's a little bit wonky. Like that. Okay, that's that's so much better. <laughs> I almost forgot a window. And then, of course, this is going to be the, the tiny ensuite bathroom. With Again, we need some windows in here as well. So we could do um, this. And have like a tiny window over here. I don't think that's look look is going to look rare because we are going to do like ivy and such going around the building. So it's going to mask the areas that don't have windows. So that's actually fine. We don't have a window here, but that's also fine. So I don't mind. So let's grab a light and place it there. What kind of lights are we using in this home? We're using these ones. Are these? Okay. So probably need one over here. Let me delete this light. Um, It gives up a, a decent amount of light. So I'm not mad about that. So let's go for some tiling, you all. I... Now I am a little bit sad because for rent came with these gorgeous tiling i mean look at those those would, would work perfect with this build but we're not gonna do for rent uh, but we can do that gorgeous green have it come in the flooring um and then maybe in wallpaper because we're gonna do we're gonna do shower yeah we're gonna do shower Shower here, toilet here, and then move the door to... Oh, is this gonna be functional? I... I have my doubts. But I really need the door to come, like, here. So I am hoping that's... I, I mean, I think this... I think this would be fine. I think this would be fine. I think this would work. So your sim needs to... Or, you know what, let's do the door there. Yeah, okay, that's that's gonna be better. And then um, I just need to rearrange this. So we're gonna do our shower here. Toilet there. And then I need to move uh, my window. <laughs> um, maybe have the window come here and just one shutter would be it so yeah we're gonna have the window there and then we can have a nice um yeah we still can have a mirror over here so let me grab this guy over here Ooh, are we gonna do some bold wallpapers <laughs> in the shower um is that gonna be weird maybe maybe it's gonna be weird you know what we will see. We will see if it's gonna be weird. Uh, probably, probably not gonna like how it looks, but it's fine. Anyways, let's see. Maybe new flooring. Ooh, I like this flooring a little bit better than uh, walls. So I want a tiled wall with a little bit of interest. So we could do this one. Um. Or this green one. I don't know. Ooh, this matches. Okay, we're, we're gonna change this out. This matches with the floor, I think. I mean, look at this. There's like this, this one green towel. This one goes with the floor. Although it's a little bit subtle though. We also could do this. This would definitely work. 
but a little bit too busy. So we should break it up with like a normal green. And then, okay. Yeah, and then have this come in here. And then this here and here. Okay, I think this is this is what we're gonna work with. It's a, it's a little bit green, but it's fine. I love green or it's green bluish, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're gonna grab this sink. Then we need a mirror, of course, for above the sink. Let's go for this guy. Um, Let's have it go in, in like a wood tone. Now we do need a shower in this little corner over there. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with this one. And then a toilet uh, here as well. Uh, let's just go with a normal toilet. So this is going to be the ensuite bathroom. I do want like... A nice lamp. Um... You know the one that came with, I think, Blooming Rooms, this one over here. I love using this one in the bathroom. It gives it a little bit of green and also a little bit of light, which is really handy. So we're just going to move that over there. Um, let's go back into decorations. You know what? We can do a nice little plant right here and then let's use the bathroom clutter items because i never use those so let's go in here maybe have like some of these um a toothbrush uh, probably over here yeah like a little toothbrush um ooh this guy now we need to move these there and then maybe go for a different color but that's actually really nice you know some items here on uh on the counter oh and we need to go one up but that's actually great because let me close this off and then we're going to move this one up and have this be one down. So it's like an actual bathroom, you know, the water can't go anywhere. I like that. Let's change the flooring, though, from this little section. Let's make this a nice marble. Love that. So, yeah, this is our ensuite bathroom i do want to use another wall fixture though for here and then here as well um, like that and then we can delete that one. Oh, and we need toilet paper of course but before i forget um a nice toilet paper roll over here as well so yeah so yeah this is our guest bedroom ensuite bathroom and now we need to furnish the little seating area so i do want a television here um so this could be either the television room for the family or this is where the guests are gonna sit um so what kind of chairs are we using here so we're using these big comfy um chairs over there should we reuse them again here or go with something different maybe we should do something a little bit more comfy like in this area i do want the couch to come like right over here we also need an area rug um is there something that would work with this wallpaper no no, maybe we should go into the cottage living category um, and see if that rug would work. Uh, I think it would. Yeah, that is actually really cute. I like this. I actually like this one the best. Okay, so we're going to do this combination. Oh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I think this would work best with the wrench items. I love that. So maybe we're gonna go 
for like this cream color. I love that. And then we have like our rug over here. Um, we do need a television. I do want a television like right on this wall. Um, it can be a nice large one. So maybe this one over here. Um, and then have this guy come right there. So now we can watch a little bit of television here. Let's grab the horse ranch table though. Oh, let's do a rocking chair. Like right here. Um, is this going to be functional if I place this chair here? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm just going to place it there and have some knitting. So let's have... Um, it's really annoying that I need to filter per pack because I always, uh, I always lose my items so i always need to filter them so let's have like a knitting and then also a crochet um where is it cottage living um this one as well a crochet basket like maybe right here off of the side so that the family can use that as well so let's see for some lighting um uh, maybe this one would be nice for here and like you know this color i do really like that and then we're gonna do some plants here in the corner as well so what kind of plants this one of course with the little basket that's so cute um we could this to do this oh no you know what should, which should we do we should do this one on the table and then scale it down one uh, yeah i like this one right here um i do want to add in some more plants over here so maybe this one would be really nice and then that one as well and then we need a nice little painting on the back of the wall um what are we using maybe one of these would be really nice and let's go for yeah for this one you know like uh, a little barn on the back and then let's grab another side table and have some clutter coming here maybe uh a light no mona a light <laughs> um let's see this one the city the city living one Oh, oh, okay. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, that one would be really cute. Then have uh, some more plants. Plants are always good. Let's see. Do we have like something small? This one. Let's place that right there. And then maybe a little piece of art or something um, on that side. So let me go through this catalog real quick. Oh my gosh. Look at all those debug items. Um, you know what? Let me just unfilter those uh this guy let me let me place that guy over here um and this can go there oh we also have like the wood could we could we use that somewhere i don't know i'm just gonna you know what i'm, I'm gonna place it here oh it's kind of floating Let me place it in the garage so that we won't forget that we have that in game. Maybe we can incorporate it like there or somewhere. <laughs> but I like that. Um, so yeah. I like this little area over here. Maybe we should do another bookcase. Incorporate a nice bookcase over here as well. Oh, why won't it go on top? Okay, I think we're gonna do this. I stacked them around, you know, around the television. Like, I don't know, something a little bit more inbuilt. But I do like the look of this thing. Do we have the bigger version in-game of this console, though? Because I, I really like this one. 
um, but I actually want to use the bigger version. I think this one over here, that's it. Um, so let's remove that. And now, yeah, it fits in perfectly. So that is done. This is the ensuite, um, the, the, oh my gosh, what do you call it again? The guest bedroom, the guest seating area, or, you know, uh, television room. And now, uh, I think I want to do a little bit of the backyard. We've been, you know, we've been cooped up inside a little bit, uh, you know, for a long time. Let's see what we want to do here. Because I know I want to incorporate like some sort of swimming pool over here. Um, should we push this backwards? And then we need to incorporate, I think, some hedges. I don't know if my tool is working. So if we need to use tool, um, I think we need to leave it for the next episode. Um, but I did install it though. But yeah, we could do something like this. Um, or do you know what? What kind of bushes do we have? These ones are also nice. We could place these here. What I don't like is this floaty. You can see that they're floating, you know? What could we use to fill up? We could, we could stack these. I think these are stackable. Let's see, let's see how that looks. Okay, something like this. I, I like this. I'm not mad about this. This looks very clean. Very modern though, but very clean. And now we have our step down. And then we can do our swimming pool over here. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's a platform, Mona. Oh, dang it. I hate this. Okay, let's um, build a room. Okay, let me delete this ceiling. Let me delete this platform inside. Okay, now I'm gonna do a swimming pool inside of the room. We're gonna leave a little bit of space for like, you know, walking into the pool. Like, maybe like that. Like a little staircase going down. Then remove the walls. I always forget that you cannot do a swimming pool in a platform. I hate that. Um, but yeah, now we do have a pool here. And we can even make this one a little bit longer if we want to. And then push this one out. And then have the pool come to here. Now it's a little bit longer as well. And of course I need to use my favorite pool color. This gorgeous blue. And then we can do. Um, I hope we can do. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. stairs going up, down. Or we could do like a platform. But I think you know some stairs going down. Would be best. So yeah. Now we have an onsen. We have a swimming pool. Um, what are we going to do for tiling though? Oh, I do really love these bold tiles. Um, these are really nice and these ones are gorgeous as well. Maybe you should, we should do like a little bit of a bold tiling over there and then a little bit of bold tiling over there, just a tiny bit and then have, um, the wooden deck come here. And then our, uh, hmm, I think I want, I'm gravitating to like these guys, but maybe that's like a little bit. No, I, I think I like it. And then have them surround here as well. And then have like some large modern concrete tiling go like that okay that is what i was thinking let me know what you think of about it as uh you know maybe it's it's not that good should we do like a little bit of a border here yeah maybe we should <laughs> but look at that now I, we incorporated some tiles we did a swimming pool and 
the backyard looks so much better already. I do want to add in uh, a fence. Like right here would be nice. And then here as well. Just a tiny fence here. It just looks a little bit better. I mean, we could have the fence come to here. Um, but I don't know if that works. So maybe not. Let's let's let let's have this fence end here, and then maybe have more fencing come along here. Oh, I know what we can do. I have a vision. Okay, let's do this to here. And then let's grab some gorgeous gloss. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And maybe maybe I don't love this, so that that's that can disappear. But I do love that that we have like a gloss fence. Ooh, Mona. I needed to delete that. Like right there. And this 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 can be open. I mean, this is fine. And oh should we should we do the gloss fence here as well? I do I do love the look of this illuminating fence like a lot. It gives it a little bit of a modern edge, you know, and this is a modern and traditional kind of combination build. So I think we're going to keep that. I like that. So we have like a little bit of space here and a little bit of space here. Um, I do know we need a, a stair going up here. And then should we do... like a little bit of a platform over here let's have that come up by one like that oh let me remove that wall there again and then let me grab this concrete let's see i think this would be the best option and then that is gonna be our barbecue nook i think that would be lovely so let me grab the desert lux barbecue this one over here and let's have it just come in this little nook or maybe even here no i think here in this nook would be best and then of course we need some kitchen counters um let me unfilter Let's see which counters would work the best. We could just do the ranch counters. Let's just see how that works. Or or we could do the industrial ones. Let me see in what colors this come. Mm, I think I like the default color the best for my build but then we need a counter that is gonna work with that color scheme so maybe this one let me push that back and then have like some counters no, I don't like I don't like the counters I think I'm gonna go for horse ranch um, and then the lighter option yeah, I think those are the best. And let me have that come here. Push this in and then... Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's do that. So now we have our little barbecue nook here. Um, we could do... Oh, Mona. I love that. I do love that. So this is like an entire barbecue area. Yes. <laughs> um, that makes me so happy. Okay, let's see. Do What do I want to add into that? Let's see what, what Home Chef Hustle has to offer. We could do some illuminating shelves. Like 
right here. And then, you know, in nighttime, looking awesome. I do like that. And then, you know, it's an outdoor area, but we could also add in a pizza oven. I mean, why not? My sister-in-law has an outdoor pizza oven. So that's actually awesome. So, you know, no, a full outdoor kitchen. We're just going for that vibe. Um, does this work though? <laughs> You know what it does it does work i like this and we can we're gonna even do an outdoor sink because why not we can now set our sinks for either bathroom or kitchen so i love that uh, although are they gonna use this sink if i set it for kitchen i don't know but we will see so we're gonna incorporate some clutter oh my gosh let me um yeah, do this. Um, some herbs over here. Um, I hate that they clip in each other. Oh, a cookbook. We definitely need a pizza cookbook over here. Um, and then, you know what? Some pasta sauce as well would be really nice. And then we need to find some clutter for here. Maybe we should do the jars that come with dine out um in decoration nope decoration these ones you know the jalapeno peppers or whatever these are we can place them here um i don't think i need some pots that is actually oh we can do those Okay, and then have like green there as well. Yeah, I like that. So now we have a little bit more going on outside uh, of the building. Now here we do need a door. We could either do like a barn door, but it's a bit big. So do we have something else that would work for there? Um, ooh, this would work. I think that would definitely work. The color is actually nice. So this is going to be our onsen. And this is going to be our indoor uh, like bot area. So we're going to have uh, showers over here, I think. So let me heighten this and heighten this. Okay, so showers in here i do think we need to move you like that yeah showers here we're, we're gonna do like a nice little window or maybe a big window hmm now i'm second guessing the door what do we have in horse ranch Mm. Oh, wait a minute. We have this. Would this work better? It does fit the vibe of that door, but then I do recommend adding like a big glass uh, window over there. Yeah, yeah, this this is what we're doing. Okay, so we have we have this in place. Um, we could make this like a little less see-through if we are gonna grab the um, eco lifestyle. That's the one that I was looking for, and then this guy over here. We could place these in front of the window. Just so that, you know, the, the it looks a little bit more enclosed. It's still open. You can still see through. 
but I like the idea of it being behind like vines and then this could be our shower area um, I'm just gonna do this wallpaper for now though um, maybe grab like a nice green back wallpaper this one would be nice and then we're gonna grab these showers from um, snowy escape that's it so let's do those like maybe one two three of those I don't like this color Ooh, I do like this color though Oh, and then the, the, the little shower stool that came with Snowy Escape. In which category is that? Is it like in decoration? Oh, this one. This one over here. We could do like a shower stool right here. Oh, that is fancy. I like that. And then we could do like a wall here. So it feels a little bit enclosed. And then have this guy um like right here i don't know why it's going through the floor but that's absolutely fine and then let's heighten that to like right about there i like that that is cute and then here we're gonna have a toilet i think just the Mm, two I think one toilet would be enough and then we're gonna have counters over here yeah okay and then we need the green back here and then a few things coming up here as well looking cute and then oh we need a nice large mirror that's it let's go with the illuminating large mirror i mean this is this is like a little bit of luxury a little bit of fanciness and then we're gonna do like the large concrete tiles over here um let's grab a door we did get like these new doors like this one i didn't know we had these in game but i like them so let's use one of those so this is the toilet over here and then let's grab a toilet come in there yeah i like that and then you know we could do like a sofa or whatever in there but this is really cute i'm definitely happy with how the backyard is coming together look at that that's so nice and then of course we need a nice large dining table outside okay so what kind of dining table are we gonna use i really was thinking about um the one that came with eco lifestyle this one this is just a gorgeous outdoor dining table um in this this color over here and then we're gonna grab the matching chairs as well um, I mean, we could even make it an eight seater. Have it line up. We're going to line it up with the door because I love doing that. And let's see. Ooh, we could incorporate a few of these as well. Oh, but where? I don't have any. Sp oh, here. Here. That's it. Like a little bit of green over here is cute. And then, um, oh, these guys can go on the table. That's really nice. And we also have this guy. You know what? Let's place that right outside. Um, and then let's un unfilter. <laughs> um, because, you know, let's just do that. Let's do a few more plants in front of them. Oh, this guy is also really nice. Let's place you right in this corner. We do need a border over here. Are we going to do the same one as we're doing inside? I think I think that would work. Maybe the lighter option, though. Yeah, like that would work. And then uh, for here... Don't know if I like them 
there though maybe for here we're gonna do this one and then for the foundation i don't know let me go into the foundation um Maybe this? Oh, we have horse ranch foundation. I forgot. Let's let's use horse ranch. I forgot we had those in game. <laughs> so do we want like a, a wooden border or a white border? I think the white one is really nice. Okay, so I we are gonna leave it here though. I've been I've been at it for like an hour. At this point so yeah how do you like the backyard so far how is it coming together should we add like a little bit of a uh, I don't know maybe some shade over here like an awning or anything like that um, why is this not connected Mona Fui. Um, but yeah I do really like how we're progressing let me know in the comments down below what I should focus on, what we should add. Suggestions for our bedrooms would be really, really appreciated. So what kind of teens, kids, babies are we working with? Color schemes, please let me know. I would love to hear your feedback and thoughts about that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, you all. I'm hoping that you're having an awesome day wherever you are. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.